What's going on guys? This is Jake of Outclass Games and this is The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1, Part 4. So I am now at the motel or whatever. Be careful peeking around. They get on our scent, we're toast. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think there was like a pillow or something I could get. You need to find a weapon. I think it was over here. Where the fuck was the pillow? Ah. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. So, oh, right, I gotta do that whole thing. <clears throat> what are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I hadn't... God damn it. Give me your gun. You need to find a weapon. Oh wait, no, that's not what it was for. I forgot. I'm stupid. But I have the pillow now. I could just, yeah, I'm just gonna smash through it. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What the fuck? I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Okay, so wait, where's the gun then? Your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay, now I have the spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Listen, inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. There you go. <laughs> That's mine now. Gimme. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what it's I was thinking. a huge screwdriver. Oh no, that's the same thing? Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Let us go this way. Mm. 
Why did he even bother hitting him in the chest? It made no sense. Lee, get him! Nice! Thanks for having my back. For sure. Aha! I still have the screwdriver, but whatever. Jesus, you're loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy fuck. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Okay, then. Gonna fuck their shit up. All right, come on, hit, 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 hit. Come on now. Rat. That's right. Let's knock this shit down. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. That was stupid. You might want to break through that board first. Yep. I know. Out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back. And you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Lynn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. <laughs> just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I... Borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. I just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. 
We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no, no! no! Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay. I think I can... I think I know what to do now. I think I can, now that I have an, yeah, I have an axe, I can't chop that down, but I think I can chop something else down. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I might be wrong. No, I can use the axe to chop down the, uh, lock. I think that's what it was. Okay. Uh, let's... Talk to Glenn first. Nah, he doesn't need food. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like... Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. The fuck was that? Just made some weird face What's for no reason. Move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, then. Ah. Come on now. Carly's all shake, um, shaking up now. Shook up. I don't know how you say that. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Okay, then. Let's go back outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Okay, let's get that brick. Thank you very much. And yeah, I go ahead and throw it over here. Yay! I did it. Now 
now's the time. Let's go get this motherfucker. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah, that wasn't in the head, stupid. You don't kill him by hitting him in the neck. He's very persistent on this. Seems to want to decapitate his brother at all costs. There you go. Should have done that four tries ago. Why does she hunch herself like that? Oh, I need to move forward? Okay. We gotta hurry. Ah. 
I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Pivot time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Uh oh. Keep it closed. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. That window is screwed. Go. Ah, Q, 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 Q. Carly more. Who's that woman, by the way? I don't know if you guys saw that. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hi, Glenn. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. 
No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. God, that duck won't shut the fuck up. Ah, here's Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You have tits. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. God damn it, duck. He's just like talking at her. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. They're dead anyway. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, kick Clementine. this old fucker in the Another balls. Thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Since when does he give a fuck about kids? Hey, Lee, I hate do you his have character. A Just fuck her face right there. Just right there. Right there in you. front of him. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Nope. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. 
I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Yeah, there's some really, really poor um, sort of leveling between the, the music and the voices and everything. I'll have to fix that next time. So, whatever. Um, I'll pick up the next episode soon. So, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time.